Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. And today we're going to be talking about a very useful indicator, the MACD indicator, which preceded this uptrend, but is also showing something really interesting about potential uptrend continuation. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right in. So the reason I say that's a valuable indicator in, in that preceded this uptrend is because I made a video about this a few weeks back talking about how we're seeing hidden bullish divergence in the MACD. Typically, whenever you see deviations towards the downside, beyond or at least below this zero point on the indicator, this being the zero point deviations towards the downside showcase bear trends. But if we start to see uptrending, upticking in the MACD, we tend to see bullish reversals. And you can see that during this time where we saw upticking in the histograms for the MACD, you saw downside for price action ultimately ending in a higher low. So downside in price action, upside in the histograms, that's a bullish divergence in the MACD showcasing hidden strength for a new Bitcoin uptrend. And as you can see, an uptrend did evolve. And this is something I talk about more in my technical analysis course. But generally speaking, you see the confirmation of an uptrend happen. And this MACD crossover where you're seeing the faster moving average crossover with the slower one, this is a bullish crossover, which is indicating to us that we could see further upside going forward. Very positive to see this because generally, if you focus on this extension towards the downside in history, in the entire history that Bitcoin has seen in its price action, we've never seen such a historic deviation towards the downside, which is why I made a video about this a few weeks ago, because this was such a tremendous, tremendous overextension in the MACD. And now we've been able to fully recover it, recover from it, apologies to the point where we're actually in the positive now for the first time in months. Really positive signs here. And generally, if you look at previous overextensions towards the downside, we've never seen such extreme ones. But generally, whenever we see overextensions, they tend to they can't recover too quickly if we focus here. They don't recover too quickly. We never see a MACD crossover until very late on, even though these crossovers aren't really conclusive because we don't have any strength in the histograms at all. And you can see that this sort of period, for instance, corresponds to a bear trend. This period where we're seeing overextension in the histograms, but no real strength there and no real crossover to confirm that strength, you can see that's extension in the bear trend. This is a totally different situation at the moment. Total recovery from negative histograms, bullish divergence to aid that recovery and to confirm the recovery, a bullish MACD crossover totally different situation to what we saw in a bear market. Really important to emphasize that. Let's look at another period where we saw fledging, really not no performance, no strong bullish divergence in the histograms, no real overextension, no real bullish crossover corresponding to no real trend in the price action, but nonetheless following the main trend here. So following an established bear trend, showcasing no real trending in the MACD crossovers, no real crossovers during periods of macro consolidation or at least reaccumulation like we saw in 2019. We tend to see MACDs, RSIs, EMA crossovers, whatever the case may be, we tend to see non-conclusive crossovers, non-conclusive rebounds from key areas across these indicators because the trend itself is non-conclusive. Whereas in this instance right over here, you're seeing a total different story recovery crossover to confirm that recovery. So I've really made that uh, point. Um, I've really stressed that point just to really emphasize the difference across those periods. Now what we need to watch out for is how will this crossover continue to play out? And let's focus on the bullish of these green histograms, because what we don't want to see 
is a potential bearish divergence form here on the Instagrams. And you're not seeing any signs of that happening anyway, because at the moment we're seeing upticking in each of the histograms. This crossover has happened. And of course, if you really want to be critical here, you could make an argument for a crossover to the more bearish side. But at the moment, if you were to propagate these MACD EMAs here, these moving averages, you'd notice that there is no crossover yet to come. We'd only see an impending crossover, which is an, a lagging indicator in of itself, once we were to see an established bearish divergence on the histogram. We're not really seeing that at the moment. We're not really seeing a bearish divergence as of yet, because if we were to focus on this portion of price action with the bearish divergence, which is really clear and really extended as well, that gives you an idea of weakness. Whereas here, no weakness, no weakness at all, showcasing in the histograms and the crossover is, it's only just happened actually. So still strength in this MACD. This is a bullish crossover. And at the moment we need to retest key support regions over here for Bitcoin's price action because the MACD is fine. The MACD is showcasing to us that crossover has happened. It's confirmed the bullish divergence in the MACD overall. And now we just need to test a previous resistance over here, right? Previous resistance now becoming new support. And at the moment, we're still in that retest phase. So price could pull back to this region here. And this region being around the mid 40s, 44, 43, possibly just to retest it to garner that buy side interest because the MACD is supporting this uptrend. And now we're still in the retest phase. So the MACD is still bullish. And that's a positive takeaway from this video. In any case, guys, that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And of course, like the content if you enjoyed this one and would like to see more content like this going forward. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.